Hi guys. Today we decided we would do a fun little project making a small planter out of a round of wood that we had laying in the yard. We added a guide circle to make sure our cut stayed within the bowl shape we wanted. We started with the chainsaw making some small cuts in the one end of the round just to get some of the material out of the way with and turn it into a bowl shape. We found the most expedient way to remove material was a series of cuts nearly overlapping each other. After the first series of cuts were made, we went through and busted out some of the bigger wood chips with the hammer. and cleared them out several times just to get as much as we could out of the way. Once the first round was cleared out of the way, it was obvious it was time for more saw cutting to make some room and get the bowl shape a little bit deeper. Once we got satisfied with the size of the cut, then we went to a rotary hasp and a die grinder and smoothed away some of the chunks that we couldn't get to as easily with the chainsaw. We weren't trying to make it perfect. We were just trying to get it close to something that we could put some plants and soil into. Once we were done with the bowl, then we set up the drill press to drill a single drain hole down through the middle. When we were done with the drain, then we put a wire wheel on a grinder and used that to smooth out the top and the edge of the bark around the top just to try to keep it intact a little better and keep it from any spots that would snag or get in the way when you're working with the plants in it. After we smoothed out the top, we just used a propane torch to singe the inside of the bowl to seal it a little bit, make it last a little longer for the planter. You can see that there's still some marks from the chainsaw in there. Some of the cuts are a little bit deeper, but it didn't need to be perfect. Here we cooled it off and tested the drain at the same time. At this point, there was still one long piece of branch on the side of it, and we wanted to get that out of the way. You could leave it, but we felt it would look more finished without it. When we got the branch cut off, we realized that would be a cool spot to put our brand. So then we broke out the chainsaw and leveled it out a little better and gave us a little more room for the brand. A little bit of handwork with the file to get it nice and flat. And here comes the brand. Because of the rough surface we were working with, it was necessary to gently rock the brand to ensure that it fully marked where we wanted it. And here's the finished product. 
The brand didn't come out perfect, but it's a planter out of a tree stump. We weren't looking for perfection. We were just looking for something cool and a fun little project. There it is. We hope you like it. Please subscribe and like.